Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. Last time we dove into the wonderful world of Amazon's sort of no-name brand cordless impacts, we chose five top examples based on various things like your guys' purchasing habits, Amazon sales rankings, reviews, and finally torque. Today we're doubling down on that torque. The highest advertised torque cordless impacts on the website are there foot pounds figures as dubious as flashlight lumens on the website. These are for the most part mid torques, though some of them are even labeled as high torques, but we could only find two Amazon type big boy size spendy high torques on Amazon, and one of them is basically the O'Reilly power torque for less coin. Let us know if you want to see those regardless. Nevertheless, today we do have some serious contenders compared to our last go at this, and yes, even one of them takes on Milwaukee blow for blow at about one third the price. Plenty of ugga duggas to get into, so let's hop in. First up is hand knife. Hand life? Well, it reads sort of like hand life, so I'm gonna call it that, which sounds like if someone named a biography written about my romantic years in high school. Like all the others from today, it comes in with at least one battery and a charger and common lug nut sockets. And in this case for $90, and it's rated 440 foot pounds. Last time we visited Amazon brand cordless impacts, there was a clear standout and Victor from the bunch. And that example, also found under the name Kukmo sometimes, was rated for 442 foot-pounds. Since, well, we didn't have a lot of luck with most of those highly recommended impacts last time, today we're all about torque numbers and starting off where we left off last time at 440 foot-pounds max. Let's see if she can do it in our first five-second working torque test up against the $219 Bear Milwaukee Gen 2 mid-torque, which while weighing about the same is just over an inch shorter. Two hundred and sixty-two foot-pounds. You know what? That's not bad. This category often sees these tests in the hundreds from impacts like these, so I'll take it for now. Next up in spec is the VTEC, a 515 foot-pound rated option from Amazon with a name invoking some of that high RPM Honda-like peak potential, possibly. This kit is $105 and the impact is 7.6 inches long now, a bit longer than that 7.3 inch hand life. And like we saw last time with many of the models, the batteries between these two are interchangeable, something that's true of all of the impacts purchased for today, quite accidentally too. And that's because they all happen to work with Makita batteries, a favorite of the less heard from manufacturers overseas it seems. We'll test with a Makita pack coming up. But this VTEC, let's see what kind of early numbers it puts down with its 4 amp hour battery, a battery that they all also share in size. Three hundred and seven, very nice. Not a mirror of, but certainly knocking on the door of that much more expensive Milwaukee. More developments to come on this one. Next up in spec, we have the Alloy Man, a five hundred and twenty foot-pound impact whose manual is labeled as a cordless leaf blower. That's always a good sign. This is a tool that doesn't seem very bashful about the fact that they're, let's say, being very inspired by Dewalt's atomic cordless products design-wise, especially on the handle and the color, of course. This is just a $85 kit though, with specs like 520 foot-pounds, which comes close to even the 550 foot-pound rated Milwaukee. Let's see if this 7.5 inch long budget impact is able to keep up with numbers like that on screen in yellow. Two hundred and forty-eight foot-pounds in this bunch especially with a rating like 520, which who knows, maybe we'll see that coming up. Not so awesome. So far, not very DeWalt-like. Next up in torque spec, and the most expensive on the day, we have the $169 Lagatins, which maybe it's me, but that sounds like a prescription brand for chronic digestional stress or something. This is brushless, like many of the competitors here, but sounds brushed or like something inside of scraping or rubbing when you use it. Either way, it's saying 553 foot-pounds. Let's see some of that in black. 297, gotta say I was hoping for a bit more with the jump up in price and spec. Maybe it will favor reverse. 
Last up, we revisit a past contender and current first place holder on our Amazon leaderboard, the brand CC. Their WH700 model blitzed the competition by all of our metrics and still hasn't broken for our field tester who we sent this out to. This is their newly released WH710, a 580 foot-pound rated impact wrench from the same folks. At least that is until we find it under other names, presumably in the future. Okay, it is $140, sometimes $150 depending on where you find it. But like its brother, it only comes in a two battery kit. A comparable kit from Milwaukee we'll be testing against with this Gen 2 is a whopping 450 bucks. I do wish this came in a formed blow molded case though, instead of this low density foam. At 7.8 inches, it is certainly bigger than that Milwaukee, similar in footprint to an Octane class rigid, I guess. But that last CC wasn't able to touch the Milwaukee despite being about this size, making 287 in this first test. Let's see if it can come any further for about $20 more. Sockets are particularly hard to put on this impact, like the hog ring is sitting too proud on the anvil. Takes much more breaking in than usual. On screen in light blue. Three hundred and twenty-one, not matching the curve shape, but starting to get awfully close. Other tests will tell the story. So let's get into that. Our next test is called Max Torque, ten seconds in reverse. Here's both the hand knife and VTech up against the Milwaukee. So hand life beating that VTEC now, but that's not the story really. The VTEC previously made 307 in a 5 second forward test, now only mustering 284 in reverse. We've seen this happen before, but let's take a look at the alloy man in this test to tell some more of that story. Two hundred and thirty-two, same deal. Both of these two impacts making not just less in reverse, but enough so that a longer test in reverse still doesn't make as much as it did in forward. We're not sure what it is, but many brands do this to a small degree, and budget examples tend to do it to a large degree sometimes, which usually for us is the less than useful sort of setup. Now the Lagatens doesn't suffer from the same phenomenon. It's able to make particularly late gains in this test and pile on that torque in reverse up to an amount of 346, perhaps making the Milwaukee a little nervous, but nothing too threatening just yet. And last up, we're gonna have the CC, which last time on that first model did like reverse quite a bit. Four hundred and twenty-six head and shoulders above the rest of the Amazon bunch, and toppling the giant, at least at the end there. Might take longer to undo some stuff, but should theoretically take off some tighter stuff eventually, shown here. Last up and for all the marbles, 15 second best case scenario test to see if any of these brands can hit their advertised figures since none of them have yet. Here's the hand life's best attempt. Three hundred and forty-four, so was able to tack on a bit more from its three hundred and eleven first run. We noticed the most amount of sort of handshaking from the impacts on this model versus the others, like it was putting in more work to get to those numbers, but still did pretty well. Here we have the VTech and Alloy Man, the two that made less in reverse, attempting with fifteen seconds now. And here's the $169 Lagatons. Impressive, but also not so far above the lowest rated here, which is the Hand Life, surprisingly. 
I feel it could have done better. Okay, last up, there can only be one winner, the next-gen CC Impact versus Milwaukee. Four hundred and seventy-one. That M18 doing better in this best of three tests on the curve, but as far as high scores go, the Gen 2 CC takes it overall. Definitely not something we've seen from Amazon type brands in any other category before. And this is how it compares to the Gen 1 CC we've tested last time. Not a bad jump up in performance here. Certainly more than we get for the usual twenty to twenty-five dollars. Listen, we don't even know who CC is really, and their cutaway graphic, while looking very high tech, doesn't even include an impact mechanism towards the front, which it should be around there somewhere. So who knows what's up with that outfit, but by the looks of it, they should be making brushless stuff like this for other tool brands, as it does make some beans. Let's head over to the rank chart now, because I think that provides the best perspective on the big picture. In order of advertised torque at the bottom of our Amazon rankings for now, their runs are turned into points as so. The VTEC really making a showing in our first forward test, then sort of falling off. The Lagatins really does make some power, but the hand life for almost close to half that price and a shorter profile is more of a standout for me at least. Then yeah, the CC sort of just dominating everywhere here. As a function of length and power, they made 47.1 foot-pounds per inch, 42.6, 35.3, 49.9, and 60.4. When we're looking at their advertised specs, which is how we chose these tools, it's surprising that a number of impacts on Amazon don't, for example, say six, seven, eight hundred foot pounds like they could, looking at flashlight lumens these days. We're lucky these all don't say 2,000. But that's 78% of its claim, 63, 49 for the alloy man, ouch, then 68 and 81. This is around a 68% average for this group, lower than the 74% we saw last time for Amazon, but also those were less powerful guns, so easier to hit those numbers. Now price, AKA the reason you would buy any one of these. These tools all came in a kit. That fact along with their unknown reliability as a tool is why they have their own ranking list here. The CC, like last time, gets adjusted to compare with the others using one battery in the form of $20 off here. 57.3, 46.3, 45.2, 47.3, just 33.2 for the Lagatons and 58.9. The hand life and CC being the most performance value per dollar, which matches with my feelings as well. That totals 273.4, 243.9, 204.5, 253.1, and 322.3, putting the Gen 2 CC into first above that Gen 1. With the hand life not far behind Amazon's best-selling cordless impact, the Avid Power, but I feel is better making similar power in a smaller form factor, just a bit more optimistic with the numbers here. To put things into perspective though, let's slap the best performing version, the M18 mid-torque up here, which we have in our ranking for the moment and makes the most points. It's at 324.6, making more overall despite costing more here. And to paint an even more dramatic picture, if we were looking purely at average power across the run, truth be told, the CC would be more like here among the mid-torques with 356 foot-pounds per second. Quite a ways down from the M18, all things considered, but really this is not a bad crowd to be in looking at these bare tool prices versus two batteries and a charger. Now, the Lagatons, I mean, $170. The current generation Craftsman RP makes around the same power for sometimes less money on a battery BOGO. The hand life at $90 and the Gen 2 CC at 130, 140, whatever you find it for at the moment with two batteries. Yeah, that's hard to beat. We tried both real Makita 5 amp hour and a fake Makita 9 amp hour battery, which both work on the CC and other impacts and found about the same performance. So not much to be gained there, already tapped out, but it is a cool detail if you already have Makita stuff. Appreciate you joining us on this one for our Amazon Roundup. If Amazon brands come out with new high torques, you might be seeing another one of these. Subscribe to see that. Thanks for watching.